Hi, it's me again. No me. <laughs> it's been wild. It's been crazy. It's been wonderful. It's been amazing. It's been a miracle. Since New Year's Eve, when I first saw that there is no me anywhere in here, there's been a lot of ups and downs, backs and forths, and chickens, <laughs> wild chickens on Maui, wild chickens in my backyard. <laughs> What I really want to say to you is this. Having seen clearly that there is no I living life through or as this body, what has been seen is that, of course, something is here. Something is aware. Something sees. Something hears. And paradoxically, there is nothing that sees, nothing that hears, nothing that speaks. There's only seeing, hearing, speaking. Sounds crazy to those of you who perhaps have never heard that before. However, that's what it is. Think of the body as a receiving and transmitting unit, literally. The body is, in the words of Suzanne Segal, who knows as well as anyone, that this is a circuitry, like an electrical circuitry. And the circuitry receives information in from all of the senses that are built into the body. The sight sensing, the hearing sensing, sensations, feelings, thought sensing. And that input is transmuted and transmitted through the body back to what is aware, back to what is conscious. And then behind that. The opinion here is that the absolute, which is non-relative, it has nothing to which it relates. It's not full and it's not empty. It's not there and it's not not there. It's the absolute. The opinion here is that the absolute gets the information because it would seem that the reason that we're here in the first place is so that the absolute can be experiencing for without that movement of experience it doesn't recognize that it exists that's how important we are that's what we do and it's a mistake to think that in the doing and being of this of being a circuitry, of being a body-mind unit that receives and transmits information, it would be a mistake to think that that means we're separate from the consciousness that is seeing, hearing, feeling, and the absolute that is the source of everything. We're not. We're an extension of it. We're just not the kind of extension we thought we were. We don't have an I to act as an intermediary who believes that it is a genuine entity on its own. There's only one entity, and it's not even an entity. There's only one awareness, and it's not really even that. <laughs> there is only one, not even oneness. And one isn't even accurate, because then that implies more than one. However, for the purposes of clear communication, one is the only thing that is actual. <laughs>